We have, uh, we have some fantastic guests tonight. I want to get to them. Uh, you could say I want to get down to the nitty-gritty and I want to get the show on the road. You could say that. My first guest did what my dad wished I did. She went to law school, became an attorney, and then got into television. That should be the order. Where she serves as senior legal correspondent and analyst for ABC News as well as co-host of ABC's daytime morning show, The View. Previously, she was seen on CNN and Fox News and in the courtroom where she served as a federal prosecutor for which she was awarded with a special achievement award by the then Attorney General Janet Reno. I love Janet Reno. It's always sunny in New York City with Sonny Houston. Give it up for Sonny. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. We got a sold out show I here. I know. I this can't is... see everyone, but wow. You're used to this. Every morning you got a full house for the view. We do. We do. You, like me, native New Yorker. Yes. Yes. Born in Manhattan. Yes. Born in Manhattan, raised in the Bronx. Yeah, so I was raised in North Bronx, <laughs> Westchester. Westchester. <And laughs> very similar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Yonkers, it's right there. <laughs> but I'm a little past Yonkers, too. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you and Cardi B. Yes, yes. Raised in the Bronx. Raised in the boogie down Bronx. Yes. How, how much do you identify with Cardi B? I mean, like Cardi B, no filter. No filter. Mm -hmm. and, and like Cardi B, you don't got to dance. You make money move. I make money moves. I don't rap as well. No. I don't rap as but well. But how good is she? She's great. I love she's Cardi. Great. She gives zero... F's. Mm -hmm. You actually live in Westchester now, is this true? I live in Westchester now, yeah. Are you part of the... I think, I think in the same a area... A former constituent. Uh, yes. I was going to say... Yes, I voted for you. No! <laughs> I did. Oh, God. <laughs> you really are a looper. I don't know. What to, my dad here was a county legislator <laughs> in Westchester County for, what, 11 years? In my town. 13 years. 13. <laughs> Who's counting? Who's counting? I want to I get into your trajectory because okay. you ended up where, you know, we, where I want to aspire to, television, you're there, mm -hmm. but you started as a trial attorney. And I did. I started out uh, first as a law clerk and then a trial attorney, and then I went to the Justice Department as a federal prosecutor, prosecuting child sex crimes and uh, child trafficking. Wow, that's heavy stuff. It was very heavy stuff, but good work. Yeah. Thank you. It's, uh, yeah. it's hard work. work. Someone's got to do it. It's good work. It's feel good work. You locked up some bastards. A lot. Yeah. I never lost a case. Throw away the key. <laughs> May they rot. Uh, but yeah, you, I mean, you must have seen some stuff, though, that you probably, does it still stay with you after all these years? It does. I mean, I, I can honestly say I've seen the worst of humanity. But on the flip side, I've seen the resilience of humanity and the best of humanity. And that's a special thing. You know, when you have a kid um, that's been terribly abused for years and years and years, and then, you know, you get a note that that kid just graduated from an Ivy League school. Wow. And you had a, just a little bit to do with making sure that he or she was safe. It's awesome. That's so incredible. now you've seen the resilience and the best of it. And the bastards are in jail. So yeah. you're, you're yeah. good. It's a win-win. <laughs>